and we're from Studio E. And uh, sorry if it's a little windy, hopefully you can hear me okay. But we're outside in a little break between um, right, bad weather and rain, so it's to rain again a little later. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do a project making a terrarium. And um, Jackie's gonna make one with me. <laughs> so what we're going to need is some kind of a jar, like a mason jar like this, and a lid. Um, I found this jar in my garage, which I think will make a really nice terrarium. Um, if you don't have materials now, it's no big deal. You could always follow along later. Um, also, there's a ton of information online um, in YouTube. I just typed in terrarium, and I found a really nice um, website. It was Serpa Designs, S-E-R-P-A Design, um, and uh, on YouTube. But there's a lot of different people making terrariums, and I just followed along. And this is my first attempt at one. We'll see if the stuff survives. Um, but basically, you're going to need, along with your jar, you're going to need some kind of screen. This is from an old screen, some mesh, right? Um, we're going to need clean dirt, like potting soil, um, peat moss, something like that. Um, also, it's a good idea if you're using dirt from your yard, you want to sterilize it. So you might put it in the oven or the microwave for um, you know, um, a little bit of time to kill any seeds. Um, also, rocks. Um, you can use rocks again, which you'd sterilize, or I had these from an old fish tank, which will work nice, pebbles. Um, I was at Home Depot earlier, so I got these plants. Um, I want something, little plants, like I don't want them to grow too big. Um, and I'm not sure, these might spread too big and take over, just an experiment. Um, I have some of these also. Um, so one of the reasons I wanted to make a terrarium is I had these nice little cactuses and the cats eat them. So um, I gotta put them in glass or else the cats are gonna kill my plants. So we'll see, hopefully they um, survive in this environment. Um, and in my backyard, I just found some of this nice little moss. So we're gonna try those out. Um, and some rocks too, some bigger rocks. Or um, you can use driftwood. Um, something like this, you know, just for, for decoration. And this is just some other stuff I had laying around. You know, feel free to change yours around. And here are, you know, kind of similar to an aquarium, right? Um, any kind of little toys or things you might put in one of those. This is a little mushroom that Jackie's going to put inside hers. And what else we got here? I don't even know what this is. Some kind of an animal. Oh, it's a bunny. All right. Let me see that. Hi, Ruth. One. Thanks for tuning in. That one's gonna pop up in in your crib. So hold on, Jackie. You're going too fast. <laughs> so Jackie has the first step anyway. Um, we want some kind of drainage. So you want I don't know one to two inches of this stuff here. That's plenty, Jackie. And let me catch up to you. So I got my stuff here, and I rinsed these off. Let's see. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, I almost forgot. We also... Two more things. Hey, Uncle Michael. Thanks for hey, watching. Hey, Uncle Michael. Making terrariums. <laughs> um, so, charcoal. This is from my fire. Um, this carbon, activated carbon, oh. some kind of charcoal. And this stuff will work. I rinsed it off. Um, so, and I have some live dirt that has some just different kinds of bugs crawling around here. This is some compost. So that'll help uh, the environment, right? Because you want some insects and bugs that are going to, um, right? A terrarium is an enclosed environment, so the plant life, right, um, takes in the CO2 and, um, right, gives out the oxygen, and then the different bugs and animals, they um, breathe the oxygen, and then they exhale the CO2, so it's a continuous environment. The water that's in here kind of evaporates and rains down, so it should be an enclosed environment. Hey, Lou! Um, unless you, uh, once you open it up again, you could always trim it or, um, you know, if you need to, um, if We miss dies. you too, Lou. <laughs> um, so I have my screen. What I did is, I just put this on top of here with 
um, some kind of um, a razor, and I just cut around. Oh, can you show that one more time? Sorry, I wasn't really filming um, on it. The screen, right? So I cut a circle. You want the circle just a little bit larger than your opening. So you use the bottom of this to measure it? To measure, yeah. Okay. And um, here we go. Well, here's this one's going to be for Jackie. So here, I'll do that with you guys. It's also hard to see, too. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Oh, it's okay. Um, so okay. Make sure people can follow along. And Jackie's got her stickers. So here we go, going around. And what is that? Some kind of razor blade? Yeah, just an exacto knife will work. A razor blade. All right. Doesn't have to be exact, but it's okay. it's good to make it a little larger than. Mine's gonna be upside down. Mm -hmm. Such a good little gardener you are. All right. And then this goes in here. It goes inside. It goes inside, yeah. Oh, okay. So this goes... Oh, okay. So you put the stuff down first, and then you put that little screen yeah. in there. So this is going to separate the dirt okay. and the charcoal. So let me put mine in here. All right. And, you know, obviously this is bigger, so I can reach in here a lot easier. Thanks for showing that again. All right. So that's cool. pushed down. Great. And next thing is going to be our charcoal. So the carbon is really good because it gets rid of odors, it absorbs any kind of um, stuff that might be harmful to the plants. And how much to put in here? Um, I'm going just by kind of examples of ones that have worked. So it looks like, you know... So you kind of spread it around? Yeah, it? a light layer. Just okay. a little sprinkling up here. You saving for Jackie's? Yeah, just yeah. enough to cover. Um, and this is my first attempt at a terrarium. Um, I'll give you guys updates. Hopefully they all survive, right? And um, do well. And let's get a little bit for Jackie's. Oh, Jackie, too. Wait, hold on, where's your... Okay, good. <laughs> freaking out for no reason. No freaking out. Okay, there we go. So we got a little bit of this stuff here. Right, Jackie? Yeah. All right, next step is the dirt. So I got this stuff here. It's a nice dry peat moss and things like this. And I'm just going around. Just getting some spray for for a light for my light stuff because mine's gonna be upside down waiting up. And Jackie, do you wanna put the dirt in yours? Yeah. You can use your gloves and you want to grab a handful of dirt and put it inside of here. And That's enough, Jack. Let's see. There. Good, Good job. job. Yeah, press that down. Press your dirt down. Hey, Joe Myers. Hey, Rodney Harris. Hey, thanks so much. Okay. So now... Before I get, forget, I want to put a little bit of this compost dirt in here. Hopefully there'll be some living little worms and bugs. Let's see, let's put a little on Jackie's. There we go. And so now this is where some of the landscaping comes in, right? I've got this um, tall rock. I'm going to just put this in here like this. Oh, you just kind of, so it stays in place? Yeah. Got it. And let's see. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. And right, you want to look at it from the sides, see if you like how it looks. It's probably hard to see on the video because of the glare, but it's looking good. This is gonna go like that. And let's see, we'll put Jackie's in last. Okay, so we got some. <laughs> it's like a windstorm out here. <laughs> All right, so. I want to start with this tall plant first. Um, and what do we got here? This is a um, it doesn't have the name. It doesn't say on it. Um, it's um. It just says assorted foliage. Oh, it's assorted foliage. <laughs> That's very vague. Yeah, that is vague. But oh wow, we got this guy here, and I'm gonna divide this up a little bit. <laughs> You got this nice root system, right? I want it in yeah. mine. Let's see. Okay, you want to put one of these in yours too? Yeah. So. Pretty plants, Sally. 
this up here. You can have this little guy, right? What's kind of fun is they um, they look like trees, right? Miniature trees. They do. And let's see. You want to put this uh, one in, Jackie? All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's let's try to get all the way down in there. And let's see. Right. And um. The dirt's nice and moist. I dunk these in water before so they don't go in shock. It looks like a right? You want to make sure that they have enough water when you're transplanting. And I'm going to put this guy back here. Let's make a little bit of a hole for this guy. Alright, that looks cool. And let's see. It's hard to know um, how much the other plants are all going to grow. Hopefully none overpower the other ones. Um, I'm going to actually save this one for something else. And I've got some of this nice vine. This got creeping, uh, this one has a title, Creeping Fig. So let's see. Um, again, I don't know how much these spread. So we might have to um, cut them back after a couple weeks. But right, breaking this open. You can use scissors also. See, that's a nice guy there. And let's put him oh, next to this rock. Right. I think terrarium is kind of a nice, um, I don't know, you call it a metaphor, maybe for like isolation. We're all in this little, our own little enclosed little places. Isolated. Right? Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing? What is that? Oh, here, let's just put stickers on yours, okay? Okay, you can put stickers on your guy. And let's see how this is looking. I feel like it needs some color. Guys. Besides the green. Well, maybe a ladybug rock. Would that be cute? I have these guys sitting in the water. I'm gonna add some of these guys, and hopefully they'll be protected. I want them. Jackie, why don't you go inside and get a couple ladybug rocks? We could put right. them in the terrariums. You wanna do that, Jackie? Yeah. Can you yeah. grab a bunch? I like that idea. Okay. Can you do it right now? Okay. Thank you. Make sure you close the door behind you, okay, sweetheart? Let's try to save these guys. All right. This guy. Let's see if he survives. <laughs> It's literally a vine. And, all right. So we got our mosses. And let's put this guy over here up front. I think that'll be a nice spot. And again, I'm not too sure about these varieties of moss, how much they spread, if um, they want a lot of water or not too much. Um, so it's all an experiment, and let's see, let's put this guy here. Um, if you have a small jar, um, tweezers work good, like if you can't reach your hands. Um, hey, Ina, how are you? We got your card Hi, today. Anna. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Maybe you guys can make a cactus terrarium out yeah, in Arizona. Yeah, that would be really cool. If you, and if you do it, please send us a picture. All right. All right, so I'm just breaking this into some little pieces. It would be really cool if um, maybe they can grow on the rocks a little bit. Oh, Jackie's coming back with some ladybugs. Ladybugs are Jackie's spirit animal. <laughs> we painted ladybug rocks in another video that you can find right on our thread on the Facebook page here. And that was a lot of fun. I got a ladybug. Nice. All right, let's show those ladybug rocks. Yeah, we made these. Oh, that's perfect. Let me that's see that. Very that's nice job. Enough. There's our ladybug rock. Right. He's gonna go in our terrarium. Here you Why go, Stel. Some color. All right, ladybug lives right here. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice color in there. Um, let's see. Let's get a little more moss. All right, and I um I put these all in water, kind of give them a little soak beforehand. Um, oh, also um. So one important thing is the water. Um, you don't want to use tap water because it might have chlorine in it. Um, so the best thing is to use rainwater. 
or um, distilled water. When you're soaking these? Um, or? Yeah, um, for your terrarium. Or just to water it, you mean? Um, yeah, all that stuff. Um, once um, The great thing about terrarium is they're super low maintenance. So once I close this, you can just let it do its thing. Um, so do you not, have to continually water it or no? no? You just water it one time? Yep. And you'll show us how you do that, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, all right. Let's put a couple of these guys. Because I'm really good at killing things, killing plants. Let's see. Well, this guy's. Hopefully, I don't kill this. Let's put this one right here. Got the root system. All right. There's one guy. Um, now, now I'll put a couple of these up close. And. Yeah. Maybe in another project we'll draw from our Daddy, terrarium. I'm having that ladybug. Oh, well that one's too big for your jar. But you know what you can put in yours? You can put this guy. How about a bunny? Mom, Mom, I wanted that one. Oh, you know what? It's too big for your jar though, Jack. Do you want to grab one of your mini ones? I'll go inside and grab a smaller one. Okay. Okay. Be fast, okay? Cut this and close the door behind you. Alright. So when Jackie's not looking, I'm going to cut this guy. <laughs> sneaky, <laughs> so sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Jar. Sneaky. He, he got a haircut. Mm. Poor dude. Let's put a little moss in Jackie's also. And then she'll put her ladybug. And let's see. So this is about 90% done. I want to, um, right? Let's see, what else can we do in this little environment? Um, I might put, um, you know, I'll just try this guy too. One more. I gotta give him some water. And oh, yeah, Stelios has water inside that little kid's, um, what do you call that thing? Yeah. Well, it's rainwater, which is good. That oh, was okay. um, from earlier today. Um, so, the one thing is, um, this bottom here, you need some more, a little more water in here. And what's going to happen is um, when this is closed up, the sun shines in here, um, the water evaporates, and then it makes little droplets, and it actually kind of rains down a little bit. Oh. So you need a decent, not too much, not too little. Um, hey, Linda, thanks for tuning in. So. I've got a little bit of this filtered water. Um, so, um, I don't know, something like this size, um, maybe four ounces of water. That's just like the, we'll the water from our Brita, right? Yeah. Got it. Um, um, so what I heard from some other websites, um, other videos, is that when this is closed up and you give it a day, if it always has water kind of circulating and dropping, it's too much. So you want to leave it out and let it evaporate uh, out on its own a little bit. But if it's closed for a while and you don't see any kind of um, haze or anything, um, then it probably needs some more water. And you know, you can just see the plants. If they're kind of wilting, um, then you know, it's a good idea is to go in there and spray a little bit, um, you know, till you get it kind of um, balanced. And you want to set this up somewhere, um, you know, a window where it gets at least some sun, right? Not too crazy, um, not direct sun all day, but um, you know, at least a little bit of sun. And where is that crazy Jackie girl? <laughs> she got lost inside. Let's see. She's looking for her ladybug. You tell those four year olds to do one thing <laughs> and they forget that one thing. <laughs> And then the jar is going to go in there. She's got like these little fun bags of stuff to put in hers, right? Oh, yeah, a little bit of sand. Jack, did you find a ladybug? Yeah. Oh, you got some stickers. Oh, cool. So, you know what? Um, and Jackie's, Jackie actually, hers came from a kit for kids. So, it, it came one. with like oh, the stuff that we could put in. There we go. So, we got our ladybug. Oh, perfect. Look at that. And let's put the ladybug That's in That's a this. really good ladybug. I did not make that one. See, Jackie? All right. So. We need a little bit of water. And, ready Jackie? I'm gonna water this guy. That should be good. And now we're gonna, oh, do you wanna put this one in or no? Yeah. All right, so let's put that one in. Last guy, little mushroom house. Look, Jackie, do you want a little blue sand in yours? 
close there. All right, so let's let's close this guy up, and then you can put your stickers on. Mm. All right. Now, so, how come hers has holes in the top? Um, that just came with the kit. I'll probably seal those up later. But I, I mean, know. I would just wonder why. All right. I'm not sure. <laughs> if um. All right. Yeah. So Jackie's gonna put um stickers and stuff on hers. You can also decorate the outside cool. of yours too if you like. It looks like it's starting to fog up a little bit already. Ooh. So let's see. How now, this? will these plants grow more inside of here? Oh, yeah. Or is that yeah. the idea? They're going to keep growing. Um, that's why I'm not really sure. I tried to pick little plants that grow slow, mm -hmm. like some of these little cactuses. Um, this vine might grow like crazy. Mm. And if it does, then I'll have to cut it back or take it out, you know? Mm. It's an experiment. I don't know how big this guy's going to get. Really? So, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll make another terrarium of the deck. Right. <laughs> Jackie, you want to show putting stickers on yours? Mm, I already have stickers, but right. I need oh. another. Nice work. Mm. All right, mm. we'll say goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, I'll say goodbye too. Goodbye. Have baby Maya with me, by the way. She says bye also. <laughs> bye.